Welcome, my name's Dave Vickers. I work for Sparshot College and just want to take you through some of the saws that you might find as you're walking around trying to, uh, to purchase your own chainsaw. These machines have all come from Winchester Garden Machinery. Got a range of saws here, starting from the small Steel 171, little 30cc machine. Good for firewood, maybe if you're doing building, that sort of stuff, um, but really kind of for occasional home use. Moving up, there's a Steel MS230, slightly bigger, 45cc engine, this one. Good for um, sort of small fell. Um, again, occasional use, rather than kind of professional use. Um, so those are the two small steel ones. Moving up the scale, we've got the two slightly larger Husqvarna machines. Got the 460 Rancher here, it's a 60cc machine. This is a kind of semi-professional saw um, and will be good for, for felling uh, on a more professional basis. So you've got very much the kind of domestic user, maybe moving up to the kind of small holder and then on to the semi-professional. And at the top end up here, we've got the Husqvarna 570, which is the professional machine. And this one is a 68cc machine. Just having a little closer look at, um, at these. The Steel 171 is a very lightweight machine, very easy just to service for the user, just the cap comes off and then you've got access to the spark plug and the filter so that's nice and quick. And then other consumable parts, get that in there, other consumable parts will be the sprocket, single nut on here just to undo and the tensioning on the side and that's really what you're going to be looking for is a side chain tensioning. 230, slightly bigger, but again, very easy to, um, to do any servicing on this one. So to get access to the spark plug and the air filter, which obviously when you're maintaining, that cap just comes off the back and you've got the filter uh, and the spark plug on the back there. Okay, so the 460 Rancher by Husqvarna. This one is, um, is slightly more awkward to service just to maintain the air filter and the spark plugs. It's actually got a screw on top, so you will need your combi spanner or a screwdriver to get access through to the spark plug. But again, you've still got side tensioning, which is a real boon. Some of the older saws had tensioning at the front and they're really, really awkward. So easy to service, but perhaps not quite as easy as these two stills. And then of the saws we've got here, the top end, 570. Actually, this one is actually quite easy to get access to. It's just got some small clips at the top, which you can just ping open, and that gives you access to your spark plug and your filter. So that is perhaps easier just to maintain on a day-to-day -day basis than, uh, than even the 460. And as with the other ones, side tensioning, easy access. Now, one of the things that you want to bear in mind about these chainsaws is that the still saws, um, certainly from my own experience of, of running um, lots and lots of short courses and felling courses, is that the still saws are actually very, very simple to maintain and certainly easier than Husqvarna. Having said that, I tend to find that the Husqvarnas are slightly more durable, last a bit longer, nicer to use. But with all saws, what I would say is don't keep messing around with them. Well, one of the problems that we have here at the college is that with continual use and continual courses, it actually tends to make them quite hard to maintain in the end, rather than easier. These little engines, they like to be run, just look after them, do the bare minimum that's required, and actually they'll just they'll keep on going and going and going. You see, the occasional user saw um, is, will last for years, as long as it's well maintained and properly maintained, and you're not trying to make it do things that it's just not designed to do, it'll just go on and on and on. The same for the professional saws. Certainly a professional user using these day in, day out in a fairly hard environment, you know, that's gonna last for, um, for maybe sort of anything between three and five years, but likely to be a lot longer actually. You know, so it, it really just depends on what they're being put to. Clearly, something like this saw is designed to be used in a harsh environment that, that this one just isn't. So, you know, you need to select your saws according to what you, you'll be doing. Um, if, you, if you own a Woodlands, for example, what, what you might find is something like the 230 or the little 171 is ideal just for trimming odd little bits of trees out, the occasional small fell, and, and if you're coppicing, those would be ideal. Something like this is going to be overkill. 
These are all two stroke machines. Generally tend to be a mix of 50 to one. So that's 50 parts of petrol to one part of, um, of two stroke oil. Certainly if you're a professional user, then you really must have some training uh, and go for the MPTC certificate of competence, which is called the CS30. Um, if you're a domestic user, then I well, just recommend that you get some training, seek some advice about how to use the saw, learn how to use the chain brake and when you should use the chain brake, learn how to maintain it and, and learn about the kickback zone. And uh, you can Google that and, um, and make sure that you don't use that when you're cutting.